Uh, and this exhibit is special in that it's bringing some of the newest and most exciting dinosaur finds from the southern hemisphere together for the first time to the North American audience. Today, uh, a, pro a project like this takes a lot of effort from a lot of different people. This exhibition was conceived at the Royal Ontario Museum and built by our, our team of curators and designers. Uh, and we work with Research Casting International, which is the premier dinosaur building um, company in the world, and it's run by Peter May. Uh, Peter May has built dinosaur exhibits for some of the greatest museums in the world, including the American Museum of Natural History, uh, the Museum for Nature Kind in Berlin, and he helped us build our dinosaur galleries here in the Michael Legion Crystal at the Rome. And uh, we also had a first we also had a first class ROM team, uh, and today you're gonna get to talk to our curatorial team, which was led by myself, as well as uh, assistant curator Matthew Vaverick. He's an expert in plants and climates of the Mesozoic era, the age of dinosaurs, and he was here to help put these animals back into their environmental context. In this new exhibit that we've got here at the Royal Ontario Museum called Ultimate Dinosaurs, Giants from Gondwana, um, what we want to teach people is that dinosaurs were these living, breathing animals and they, they were evolving in response to a very dynamic Earth. Um, the, when the first dinosaurs appeared at the beginning of the Triassic, the Earth was joined into this, into a single landmass called Pangaea. Through the age of dinosaurs, that landmass then broke apart into uh, first north and south, the supercontinents called Laurasia and Gondwana, and later into the individual continents that we know today. And at the same time that these massive changes were going on on the planet, we've got dinosaurs evolving and in response to to these changes and so as these continents become more and more isolated the dinosaurs become isolated from one another and you see this enormous explosion in diversity by uh, by the end of the Cretaceous and so what we want to show uh, in this show is just the progression from these first early dinosaurs through to the end of the age of dinosaurs where we see this this amazing diversity of of an incredible array of different kinds of dinosaurs from uh, from small carnivorous dinosaurs similar to things like Velociraptor to giant predators like Giganotosaurus or even the giant sauropod, sauropod called Flutalongosaurus. Uh, Flutalongosaurus would have measured over a hundred feet long and would have weighed over 40 tons when it was alive. Our job here is to build all these dinosaurs that you see in the exhibit. So we have a lot of dinosaurs from the from Gondwana, which is the southern continent of, uh, of the world many, many, many millions of years ago. And all the animals you see here are very strange animals that sort of evolved in their own isolated evolutionary path. Uh, what we do, we, we build the skeletons, uh, we cast the skeletons uh, out of fiberglass, polyester resin, um, we scan the skeletons, we digitally print them, we, we digitally scan them and then we, we print them with a 3D printer 5-axis router. When we have the individual elements, what we do, we, we take the, uh, the bones and then we core all the vertebrae out and then we string them like pearls, pearls on a necklace and they go all the way through. And if you look at the base of the leg, you can see the, the, the iron coming up, the steel comes up, so we have steel armatures running up the legs into the hip, and then we have a steel bar running all the way along, and we take 300 and some odd individual bones and we break it down so we have about eight or nine modular sections which we can assemble 
here at the museum, at the Royal Ontario Museum. So the dinosaur I'm standing in front of right now is one that most people would probably be familiar with called Tyrannosaurus rex. So Tyrannosaurus rex lived in the late Cretaceous um, about 65 million years ago in what is now North America. And Tyrannosaurus rex is what we used to think was the biggest meat-eating dinosaur to have ever lived. Um, since the 1980s and 1990s, we found a number of new dinosaurs that rival Tyrannosaurus rex in size. Um, however, at the time that Tyrannosaurus rex was living, North America was isolated from all the other continents. So at that point in time, there was no land bridge between North and South America. So even though Tyrannosaurus rex may not have been the biggest dinosaur to have ever lived, it was still the biggest dinosaur living in North America when it was alive. Okay, the, um, we, we put about 18 skeletons together for the show, and the, the skeletons come from all, all over the southern continent. So we have skeletons from Africa, Madagascar, uh, Af South Africa, Argentina, and North Africa. And um, what they compose of, they're from museums all through the south, and they had crews go out and collect the specimens, then they would have taken molds from it, they would have made the casts. If we didn't have the molds to cast things up, then we purchased the casts. And then we have about 18 people in our shop who work on various parts of this. We do molding and casting, we do um, digitizing, we do scanning, we do printing, we do um, metal work, we do blacksmithing. And, and it follows a whole process till finally we get to the end result, which is a mounted skeleton. All told, the project here took us about two years to, to put everything, to, to source the skeletons, to get the skeletons in, and then to mount everything. Um, and it'll, it'll come like what we have here is one of the, the biggest carnivores ever, Giganotosaurus from the south. And he's competing with one of the biggest carnivores from the north, which is T Rex. And then upstairs, when it opens, we're going to have a Futalongosaurus, which is one of the biggest dinosaurs ever discovered. Uh, what I'm standing in front of right now is a dinosaur called Giganotosaurus. Uh, Giganotosaurus is one of the stars of our show, of, of the show Ultimate Dinosaurs, Giants from Gondwana. Uh, this dinosaur is really special because he's 
possibly the biggest meat-eating dinosaur to have ever lived on the planet. Um, for a long time, scientists had thought that Tyrannosaurus rex was the biggest meat-eating dinosaur ever, but uh, with a number of new finds from both South America and Africa, including Giganotosaurus, um, we've been finding evidence that there may have been predators uh, living at close to the same time as Tyrannosaurus rex that could have been even bigger than Tyrannosaurus rex. Our facility is based in Ontario, Trenton, Ontario, and um, we're, we've been mounting dinosaurs for the past 25 years. So uh, we've worked in museums throughout the world. We've worked in, uh, in America, in Japan, in New Zealand, Australia, Africa, England, Europe, Germany. It makes us proud to, to work here in Ontario, at our, our home, because usually we're all over the world and we don't do a lot of work here in Toronto. So it, it's good for us, it's good for our crew. And Thank <laughs> you.